Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. Now I know I'm about a day late with this video. Now this is going to be a bit different from what I usually do. This is not a gameplay video. Instead we're going to be doing a review. So first things first, The Witcher 2 has been released for Linux. And it is now available on the store. There is a sale at the time of this video. So if you wanted to buy it, now would be a time to buy it. So why a review video instead of a gameplay video? Well, currently I'm unable to record it properly with Simple Screen Recorder, which I will showcase a bit later on. Right now, this game is only officially supported on NVIDIA Linux systems. That's right, if you have an AMD and or Intel graphics system, you are not supported by the developers. Now, the developers have said that AMD have a fix for the driver and it will be coming out soon, but that is only on the proprietary side. Now, there is quite a bit of backlash with this game, as apparently it uses a wrapper to allow it to play on Linux. A little bit more of that in a minute. Alright, so now what we're going to look at is the difference between performance when I'm recording it and the performance that I'm actually seeing in person. So what you have on the left of the screen is the simple screen recorder recording. Alright, this is usually what I would show you in a gameplay video. While it's on the right, is me recording my actual monitor with a Canon camera. Alright, so the right side would be what I see with my human eyes and on the left is what the simple screen recorder would record and store under the computer. So obviously the left side will be clearer and sharper. This is also where the sound is coming from. But as you'll notice in a short bit once we actually delve into gameplay that it records the gameplay in a rather messed up performance level. Now, I've also tried with the OpenGL recording and it does the same thing. Thus, there is no gameplay video. Hopefully, in a bit, I will transfer to the uh, actual recording on the right so we can actually look into the gameplay and see how it is. Now, this is running on my NVIDIA Intel system. Alright, running on Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, I'll say native but I'm not so sure because I don't exactly know how much of the Eon wrapper is used in this game or how similar it is to Wine. People have been claiming that they can get this game running in Wine at better performance than this natively. I find that rather hard to believe as I have never been able to get Witcher 2 to run properly in Wine and I have tried with a lot of Wine versions and I'm also running what would normally be Categorized as the perfect combination for running wine games, which is an NVIDIA and Intel system So what you see on the left is the simple screen recorder and you can see it is pretty much struggling a lot of screen tearing uh, Momentary hangs, but you'll notice it even more once I actually get into the combat right now. It's sort of like a Short screen. This is all running on Ubuntu 14.04 right now Remember, the right side is camera, what I would see with my human eyes, and on the left is what simple screen recorder is recording. So as you can see, it's pretty horrendous uh, recording by simple screen recorder, which is why I can't do a gameplay video, although I'd very much like to. On the right side, you can see it's a lot better in terms of performance. And on the right side is while simple screen recorder is recording. So whilst I noticed that the performance is practically indifferent whether I'm recording or not, the outcome is different. So on the right is what I'm actually experiencing and this is at high uh, system specs with VSync disabled. Lord Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. So let's get into some actual short gameplay. I'm gonna be using the camera footage here. So far so good on the NVIDIA side, we are running on the 337.19 drivers, which are the latest better drivers I can get my hands on. The Lava Let. So I'm going to be playing this with my keyboard and mouse, as I have been just now. So I fought the guards off initially. This is still the beginning of the game, but I did skip uh, one part of the assault and I jump straight to the second part. I forbid you to die like imbeciles. Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards. So as you can see, it's not so bad actually, running with the NVIDIA's drivers on high. It is a shame though, with the 680 I did expect to be able to reach Ultra, or at least most of it on Ultra, not everything. Alright, let's go get that ballista then. So 
So the slow mo works when I want to change my. Uh, I still don't know what those are. Insignias, I guess? Symbols for my magic. Geralt of Rivia. I actually haven't finished the first one yet. I played through it, but I haven't finished it. Alright, let's get down and into action. Up here, I can't do anything. Now, one thing I did note is that every time I exit this game, it will crash. On exit. I'm not sure why, but it will always do that. In game so far though, about an hour of gameplay, there hasn't been any issues. That suckers. I am playing this on easy, so don't be surprised why the AI is a bit retarded. <laughs> yeah, I still get my ass handed to me. Lavalette shall die. For Tamaria! Okay, that's how I defend. Use some magic. Thanks for showing me the tip after I figured out the key. So I don't recall what all these signs do, I'm just gonna try them one by one. Apparently this one roasts them alive. That is not a sign, I think. Okay, that's how I sheath and unsheath my sword. Don't wanna do that here. What's your din? Am I even saying that correctly? Oh, electricity. What else? What else we got? Igneous fire. Rosti tosti! Oh, down with tyranny! Okay, I'm not sure what this does. If it's some kind of armor, that would be pretty cool. I'm not sure though, it doesn't look like that. It looks like some sort of buff. I don't have mana, or at least I think that's what it's called. Kill the Witcher! Kill the Witcher. That's like a flashbang, but I'm not actually sure if that's supposed to blind the enemy or blind me. <laughs> Big knee, time to roast. Nope, wrong one. So as you can see, so far so good. Running it on high with a 680, not as bad as it, as it would seem, as I see in the forums. But I do understand that a lot of AMD and Intel users are probably pretty angry that they can't play this. A bit later in this video, I hope to show you uh, whether it can or cannot run on SteamOS. My SteamOS machine is an AMD build, completely, from processor to GPU. I'll try that a bit later and we'll see how that works out. For now though, at least in this part of this video, you can see it does work with NVIDIA. I definitely do feel the effects of the uh, Aeon wrapper when I'm in the menu though. For some reason my mouse becomes extremely heavy in the menu and it just slides off the screen. I have to wait for a bit until whatever is making it slide stops. So far in game, it's okay. It's not the best it can be. It could definitely be better than this. Let's turn this sucker. My system did run rather abnormally hot whilst playing this. It was pushing my GPU quite heavily. I would also be interested to see if NVIDIA releases a driver later on that improves performance for this game specifically. We know that AMD is going to release or has released a fix, although I haven't seen it yet. Kill the Witcher! I'm just going to try and finish up this part here, get this ballista shot and then we'll take a look at the SteamOS uh, version of this game after this. Alrighty, that looks like everybody. Time to fire this ballista up. Boom! Shots fired. Well, a shot. So far, so good. Gameplay works. Uh, scenes work. The menu is a bit buggy though. Uh, the menu, once you're in-game, is buggy. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead now and jump onto the SteamOS part. Alright, so let's take a look at how The Witcher 2 runs or does not run on SteamOS with AMD hardware. 
So I've just updated this earlier today, and I believe it's running the fixed AMD Catalyst driver, or at least it's set it updated that, so we'll see whether or not that works. It took me quite a while to download this. This is running on an AMD HD5750 with the Catalyst 14.4 drivers. So immediately when we start up, we see that the launcher is different. This is completely a different experience than you would get on the Linux or even Windows desktop. You have options to set in English, and you have the graphical options. My screen here only goes up to 1600 by 900. I set it to medium specs, and we head back. So now I try to start the game, and sadly, as per the store page, which does not currently say they support AMD, it is true, it does not work whatsoever on this AMD system. We'll go through this steam loading for a bit, and then all I get for several minutes, no, no matter how long I leave it, is just a black screen. It does not run. I thought AMD already released a patch for their driver. They've put it up on their site. Uh, SteamOS updated, but it looks like whatever they did it has not fixed the problem here, sadly. So SteamOS with AMD hardware does not seem like it's a go, although I do know that some people with the open source drivers are able to get Witcher 2 running. So if you're running on AMD hardware and your Catalyst drivers aren't working, give the open source drivers a go. You might get it working. So for one more part of this video, I'm now going to take a look at how it performs uh, on Windows 8 versus Ubuntu 14.04 on both high. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so on to the Windows 8 versus Ubuntu 14.04 performance. So basically what we're looking at here is how does this Eon wrapper perform compared to the Windows version? Now there's no actual numbers because there isn't any way to showcase the frames per second in Witcher 2. So what we're going to be going off here is how does it look? Do we see any uh, visible lag, delay, or incredible screen tearing on the Ubuntu side versus the Windows side? So on the right we have the Windows version and on the left is it running on Ubuntu with the Eon wrapper. So I'm just going to start up the game here, a new game, because this is the easiest way to get it running uh, similarly on both sides. So this part of the video is mostly for you to look at and for you to decide if there really is a performance difference or not. Now both systems are running on high with uh, the VSync disabled. So immediately what we'll see is that on the left it does struggle very slightly compared to the Windows side on the right. The Windows side does seem smoother in comparison. Since we don't actually have frames per second to showcase here, I can't tell by how much the difference may be. Ever so slightly, it does seem like it's struggling a bit on the left. So if it's struggling a bit on my high-end system, it might struggle a lot on lower-end cards, uh, lower-end NVIDIA cards. We know for a fact that right now it doesn't really work with the AMD cards. You might be, you might be able to get some luck with uh, the open source drivers, but not with the Catalyst drivers yet. So far, relatively the same performance. Just now we were outside in terrain with rainy environment. Now we're inside with human models, different shaders. Oh shit! Relatively the same performance here. It looked like it was only when it's outside that it was struggling, but once we go inside, indoors, it seems to be okay. You daft! Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do Still no real visible difference. But then again, this is only on high settings. So far, pretty much the same. There was about a frame skip, uh, frame skipped Why? on the left just now. At least that's what it looked the like to me. Didn't roll. Call me a cheat. Take it back. So still pretty much the same. Look, he's awake again. Monsters. Yeah. So far, I'm not really Gosh, seeing a, a huge horse. performance loss compared to the I Windows version. But then again, my card is pretty high end. One thing I will note though is that this game, whether I'm running it on Windows or on Ubuntu, it makes my card go very, very hot. It really pushes it. Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. Alright, so that is pretty much it for this video guys. I hope this was a bit insightful for you, for those of you who haven't bought it yet. And for those of you who have bought it, this is just my experience. Let me know what your experience was in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching. <laughs>